In 2010, the wrestling world, Georgia wrestling, was a very different place. Rampage ruled. Anarchy ruled. Platinum Championship Wrestling was a group of guys, group of women, struggling. Friday nights at the Academy Theater, Tuesday nights at the Jungle, shows at the Masquerade, anywhere we could get in, we were there. Sacred Ground Chapter 1 happened. September 25th, 2010, and it was a big deal. It was a big show. Called it Chapter 1, which probably felt really arrogant to people at the time. Like, oh, how many chapters are they going to write? Well, we're up to six. We're up to six, and we're going to be in two spots. We're going to be in our home, Porterdale, Georgia, where we do shows and have done shows for years, twice a month, like clockwork. We've done the shows there, and they've grown into something very, very special. There's no crowd like Porterdale's. They're the right combination of fans who love what you do, but they're not morons either. I look around at the fans that a lot of other places have, and I'm going to be honest with you right now because that's what I do. I really wouldn't trade those fans for any, anybody else's. But you know, it's, it's hard that we don't have that Friday night crowd that Friday night crowd with something special. That Friday night crowd... Mm, that Friday night crowd... Sacred Ground's coming home to you. For the first time, Sacred Ground is going to be where it should have been all along, too. And fans from Porterdale are going to be there. Fans from Avondale are going to be there. Saturday, September 26th. It's going to be an amazing day and an amazing night. I've had quite the eventful year. Unlike 2010, Rampage is no longer here. Hell, Anarchy's no longer here. But we are. And while I've been fighting against anarchy, the carpenter, Quasiman Disco, you've taken over with guys like the Washington Bullets, Bill the Butcher, Dementia De Rose. Brian Kane, my evil slanty eyed cousin. You think you've taken over, but this is sacred ground. PCW didn't back up from Samoa Joe. PCW didn't back up from Awesome Kong or whoever the Ring of Honor champion was or whoever the NWA world champion was or Jay Lethal, or Leva, or Mia, or any of the numerous people who have walked into sacred ground. We're proud of everybody who's ever done that show. Adam Pierce. This year, Lady Tapa. They all come to sacred ground. They all come to sacred ground because the cliche for other groups is reality for us. And the reality is this, sacred ground is the pinnacle. Sacred ground is the brand. Sacred ground is Saturday. And we're 
in that old space where Academy Theater used to be, but now it's a place called Tudor Square, and it's bigger, and it's going to be filled, and it's going to have Porterdale fans, the Avondale fans. Hell, anybody who cares about wrestling is going to be there in the state of Georgia because it's going to be amazing. I'm going to be there, most certainly. I'm not in a match. I don't wrestle anymore. But I'll tell you this, my slanty-eyed cousin, I'm going to kick his ass, and I'm calling it out in advance, and I'm going to be there watching as Rachel ascends against Lady Tapa. Carpenter's taking on Shane Marks at last. And Jeter has a chance to save the PCW title. You see, the Washington Bullets, they're both the champion, which is insane. And Jeter is probably the only man on earth who can beat them both. And I hope that he can. The cliche is, history will be made. Hell, how many times has PCW done that? Sacred Ground Chapter 1 in 2010. And every year, it's the show. Every year, it's amazing. But this year, Sacred Ground 6, from Porterdale to Avondale. Ambition. Creating hype and living up to it. It's what PCW and Sacred Ground does better than anybody. You don't believe me? Show up and see. And for those that already know, you know. And I'm going to see you there. This Saturday, you're going to be amazed. You're going to feel wonderful. You're going to join the party. And it's going to be a party. And we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate six years of working hard together. We're going to celebrate six years of defying the odds. We're going to celebrate six years of greatness. Am I wrong?